No one has to die. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I heard that. <laughs> Those poor kids. Anyway, this is No One Has to Die. It is a game about choices, I guess. And dramatic music. Urgent. The Phoenix Corporation. Eh? Huh? Eh? Huh? Die? Get it? Headquarters security has been compromised. All personnel evacuate immediately. Tempest engaged. Security room locked. Emergency services contact. ETA, three hours. 17 minutes. You guys need a more responsive police force, honestly. Visitor is logged into the Phoenix Corporation headquarters. Communication network. Well, we'll hunt them out. That looks like a good guy. Hello? Is anyone there? What the hell is going on here? Christina has logged into the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. There's a fire! Everybody evacuate the building! Steve has logged into the Phoenix Communications... The, the bah. Yes, he's logged into the thing. I don't need to use my mouse, do I? No, oh, it's you, Chris. This is pretty bad. I can smell the smoke from here. You should, guys should get a new sprinkler. Steve, why are you here? I thought you'd gone home. I was working late. Why do you care? Frickin' Christina! You're smothering me, Christina! <sighs> Troy is logged into the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Man, these frickin' pop-ups, man. Lionel has logged into the blot of do. I think we've got our four people now. This guy's Colonel Mustard. That's not Lionel. That is Colonel Mustard. I'm telling you right now. This is the CEO of Co Phoenix Corporation telling everybody at the facility to evacuate the building. Security staff reporting immediately. We just saw the message, like, frickin' 20 text boxes ago, man. Security staff are dead, and I found them lying dead in the control room. Then I sad. Was sad. I was gonna say something, but then I didn't. Then I saw a warning on the screen about a fire, so I logged in. And I whine, because that is what I do. What happened to them? I killed them, and I lit the fire. I am a douchebag. <laughs> Look at my mutton chops. Look at them. The mutton chops made me evil. Who the hell are you? Is this a joke? There's no time for this now. Visitor, if you're in the control room, you'll have to coordinate us in escaping. You'll need one of those security codes. Is this game is this just talking? Is this just talking in the game? The code's RTFS. Yep, this is some kind of game to him. I don't think I'm gonna read all of the dialogue forever. Security code confirmed. Security dialogue system online. Or dialogue. Where'd I get dialogue from? I was thinking dialogue, then I said it. Beginning scan, 4B3! It worked! You win. Game over. Oh, shut up, Colonel Mustard. You may have a very difficult choice coming up ahead, I'm afraid. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Calculations complete, who do you kill? Fire on floor B3, one casualty unavoidable. Troy, Steve... What's that mean? It means we have to kill somebody. Oh, I'm the visitor. Ah, I'm the kid with the whiny voice again. I didn't even mean it to be the protagonist this time. Oh, great. Tutorial time. Urgent, please enter security system orders. Oh, crap. I forgot the number. I was supposed to remember a thing. Water will go on to the switch. Oh, I see. That's neat. Water puts on fire, drowns people. Switch stuff. Falling. Oh, that's neat. Turn it up a fire, water spreading to progress. Okay. Oh. Um. Wait, what? Hmm. Arrows to move people. Wait. What is that gonna do? Wait. No, I wanna. No! Damn it, Steve! How do I. Can I go back? Yes, I can. Alright, let's lock that door. Let's just kill that guy, because he's a douchebag. Let's just do that. <laughs> You're dead, bro. Um...
I supposed to do? I, I, I don't know. What? Let's go to the next turn. Oh, are we still good? Yeah, Troy was a douchebag. But it told me no one had to die. There was no way to get around that. Whatever. Glad that's over. I'm sure there won't be different trials that force me to slowly kill everyone else. I'm sure that won't happen. Definitely sure. How can you talk like that? Well, he was a douchebag. You saw him. Heard him. Whatever. Yeah, he was kind of stupid. Yeah, we know each other. We're freaking jerkbags. Blah to do. Oh, why is everyone an asshole in this game, honestly? I mean, Colonel Mustard's alright. I'm cool with this guy. Why can't I be Colonel Muscle Mustard instead? If I gotta kill somebody, it's not gonna be Colonel Mustard. Hey. I was just praising Colonel Mustard and you're being a dick to him. That is that is not cool by me. <sighs> Main hallway is completely destroyed by fire. Same problem. Yeah, you're kind of surrounded by fire. Uh, pff, there was not a staircase on my map. Freaking game. Alright, we're gonna head up some stairs. I'm sure this will be safe. No, we're supposed. If we're in the basement, we need to be going upstairs anyway. Our visitor's going being very quiet. He's evil. I don't work here. I was just making a delivery. Tires, pop-up books. Why would you guess those? What, Steve? I'm gonna have to kill you. Just saying. I was delivering stationery. Asshole. What? <laughs> wow. Right, hold on. I know you. What? Hey! Frickin'. <sighs> oh, it's enter, not spacebar. I wasn't expecting an answer anyway. To be honest, nobody really knows what Phoenix Corporation actually does. That's your voice now, Steve. That's what you get for being a douchebag. Company buys random items, toilet seats, guitars, you name it, in bulk, and sales it all off. For next to no profit, we're almost certain it's a front. Why do you work here, then? But it pays well, so we stay here. Christina works here because no one else wants her. That's different. I'm so gonna kill you, bro. How about you shut up while I ask Lionel a serious question? I want to know about the cockatiels. <laughs> cockatiels? Oh, the cockatiel story. Oh, the cockatiel story. For nearly a year, we've been constantly getting shipments of live cockatiels by the thousands. God knows how many birds they bought. The cockatiels were never seen again. No one knows what was done with them. It's an animal rights issue. Whoa, that is weird. What's going on, Lionel? We were buying cockatiels for looking for a phoenix. Okay, then. That's that is a completely reasonable thing to do. All is forgiven. I do get it. See, you don't have to get it. Colonel Mustard knows what's up. You guys just need to shut up. Has anyone found a not dead on the second floor? Maybe we should be focusing on that. They're making the pong noises. Oh my god, I just noticed that. Oh. No, it's not always the pong noises. Whatever. Frickin' Lionel. Oh, man, Colonel Mustard, I thought you were cool. That's right, it's been in the notices for weeks that you were coming today. What is... was today something special? I'm not gonna forget your voice, Steve, because I hate you. Nothing that could have encouraged Arson. Yep. Ah, uh, it's totally you, Steve. Yep. <sighs> Come on, man. Now you gotta make it awkward. I was gonna save you anyway. But I'm not gonna know what happened if I don't save Lionel. That's like... That's what I'm playing the game for, guys. Is there a choice what to do this time around? Stop making this awkward. I was going to save you because you're cool and you're backpedaling. But 
And now Steve's being alright. Steve's not being a douchebag. But you know what? I don't know, man. I'm still gonna kill Steve, though, because he's a douchebag. What do I do here? Okay, I want... Hmm. We're gonna lock in that guy. Oh, hmm. Wait. I think you need to lock in her. Pull that switch. Yeah. <coughs> I keep thinking the water is going to flow down, but I don't think it does. And now I can... Hmm. Hmm. Could I have moved him out of the... I'm gonna get the wrong person killed here pretty quick. Let's just make sure Steve dies. That's all I care about. Ah, they're both dead. Too many deaths! Simulation restarted. Um. Like move this guy. I think I need to lock that door. I don't know how to. I can't unlock that. Can I just. Says she's not a candidate for. Uh, how am I supposed to get the water over to that without everyone being dead? Okay, she is a candidate for being dead. see what I'm supposed to do here. Because I can't re-lock a door. I guess I gotta lock this one. supposed to save two people here. So that just gets you dead. Am I supposed to let her die? Is that what's going down here? Because you didn't even tell. You didn't even tell me that. This is dumb. I don't like this puzzle. Wait, no. supposed to be doing here. Let's lock that and move both of them out, I guess? Is able to save one of them or wait. How do I get the water over there? Oh, 
okay. I'm just supposed to sit there. But that only works for Steve, bro. That was a forced choice. I could not have possibly saved him. What the fuck? I hate both of you. It makes me sick thinking of not killing you, Steve. You're kind of a douchebag. But that was totally forced choice bullshit. You saw that. I mean, maybe there's a way to get around that, but... I... Steve had one was one block further away from the water, so... You're kind of both douchebags. I've, I've been over this, honestly. You both suck and I wanted you to die, but no, you're like, I'm gonna be in the room further away from the water. Look at me being a douche. Set of stairs. <sighs> Christina always jumping the gun. You're a jerk. Which one of them do I get to kill? Is this one of those things where I get to go back and like make different choices the next time and it's like actually different. Was he wiggity whack? No one cares. <laughs> That's a hell of a thing to forget about. Who doesn't want to search dead bodies? This is a video game. We're all about searching the dead bodies. I'll never know where to keep that bone meal, though. Do -do -do. Blue file. Does it say anything about cockatiels? Security cockatiels? Please let there be security cockatiels. That would be pretty awesome. I don't know, because he's a douche. All of you are stupid, and I hate all of you. Except for Colonel Mustard. No, I hate Colonel Mustard, too. I mean, he was alright, but... Whatever. Chris! Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't read all of this. <laughs> but I'll try and make sure you can read everything. Calculations complete! Yep. Are you going to force choice bullshit me again? And... Whatever. I hate Chris, or er, Steve more. So he's going to die. But since I want him to die, it's probably going to do force choice crap. I'm never going to get over that. This, this is supposed to be a game about choices. You don't do that, man. I've got music now. It's dramatic. This is a very dramatic situation. Dun dun dun. It didn't have to be this way, Chris. You're kind of an asshole and stuff, but you know, it didn't have to be like this. It could have been a different way. Beats is done, or my house is on fire. Possibly both. Hold on. <laughs> 